South Central has been the birthplace of some of the most prolific housing projects and some of the nation's most infamous gangs. This section of Los Angeles has some rich history as well. Movies such as Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, and Poetic Justice are all movies that take place in South Central. Aside from movies, South Central has a huge presence when it comes to West Coast music. Some absolute legends have come out of this section of LA. People often forget just how much impact South Central had on Los Angeles culture. In order to erase the bad stigma associated with South Central Los Angeles, the city of LA changed the name to just South Los Angeles back in 2003. Gangs have been forming here since the 1920s. Needless to say, this part of Los Angeles will forever be stained by its long history of gang violence. One of the gangs that were heavily involved in the LA riots of 92 were the Westside A Trey Gangster Crips, also known as Hell Gang. When it comes to territory, the A Trey Gangsters have the largest neighborhood in South Los Angeles. Their territory covers a good chunk and stretches all the way from Gage down to 89th, and also from Western to Vermont. Some of the cliques that are still active to this day are the North Side, Far West Side, Back West Side, and South Side. Rumor on the street is that the Northside clique had a Korean OG named AC Rabbit, who was also the co-founder of the Northside A Trey Gangster Crips. To this day, AC Rabbit is an urban street legend, and there is little to no info on him out on the internet. If anybody watching has some insight, please message me on Instagram because I would love to make a video about him. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you leave it a like because it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. But anyway, back to the video. The a Trey Gangsters are considered to be the founding Gangster Crip set and has historically been the most respected set under the Gangster Crip 3 times card. GC 3 times, also known as Trey's or Moving Gang, consists of a number of street gangs based out of South Central Los Angeles. The Gangster Crip 3 times card was formed due to the infamous war between the A-Trey gangsters and the rolling 60s. It is believed that the Gangsta Crip 3 times card was formed at St. Andrews Park back in 1979. Since the 1980s, the Gangsta Crips have been the main Crip faction to prioritize expansion into new areas outside of just South Los Angeles. This is why they are one of the few black gangs to have established a presence in areas with historically lower black population, like the San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, Inland Empire, Orange County, and Ventura County. For this reason, there is heavy animosity between most inner city neighborhood crips and gangster crip sets located far outside of Los Angeles. The four Trey gangster crips are accredited as being the original gangster crip set by name. However, the A Trey gangsters are viewed as the largest and most historically reputable because without A Trey's major influence across LA County and further, most gangster crip sets would not exist in the present day. It is rumored that nearly 50 bodies have been dropped between the 6 O's and the A Trey gangsters. Some have said that the 6 O's and the A Trey's used to be allies back in the day and would even unite to fight the other gangs in South Central. So, what happened? The beef between the A Trey's and 6 O are believed to have stemmed from a murder that happened back in 1979. A 15-year-old Rolling 60s gang member by the name of Tyrone Hardman would get gunned down by an A-Trey gangster. This murder is believed to be the reason for one of the biggest gang wars the city of Los Angeles has ever seen, and also one of the first Crip on Crip wars ever documented. Who will come back with the heat, tell Fatty move, dumb. Boom, boom, kill Tyrone, shoot him in the head and the chest, shoot Bogart, boom, from the 60s in the stomach. That's them break. We all break too. Like 60s coming the hood though. Big Rick, the OG, baby face, baby Huey, Motor Mouse, 60s, OGs, killers. All they wanted to shoot her. Like, man, who kill my brother? That's what Big Rick said. And we was like, man, we ain't, we don't know him. We didn't. He just started claiming the hood in two days. We couldn't give him up. We didn't know the mother. Fools them took it as a sign of us saying we ain't giving him up. Turned a big gang fight, pigs came, helicopter 40 feet off the ground. From that point, September 27th, 1979. The rolling 60s and the A-Trade have been mortal enemies. Many people outside of California wouldn't even understand that a majority of the violence that goes down within Los Angeles is not between the Bloods and the Crips, but more along the lines of Crip on Crip and Blood on Blood violence. a Trey's beef with the rolling 60s has got to be one of the most well-known beefs within LA. So many lives were lost during this war and it has lasted for over four decades. The rolling 60s have quite the reputation of their own. 
being one of the largest hoods in all of South Central with over 8,000 documented gang members. They are one of the most hated gangs in all of South Central Los Angeles without a doubt. The 6-0s are also known as Rich Rollin', a name given to them due to the fact that 90% of 6-0's territory is located within areas that are filled with houses, aside from Dime Block Turf which is located in Dorset Village. This gave the 60s an advantage because many members had generational assets unlike many of the other gangs that existed on the east and west side. They are known to be one of the most reputable gangs that's located in the Hyde Park or Crenshaw region of Los Angeles. On top of all this, the 60s have had nationwide recognition due to famous rappers such as Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace to a legend, by the way. Aside from 60s, the A Trade gangsters are bitter rivals with the Roland 90s, and they also go at it with all block crips. The A Trade gangsters have few allies, some of them being the A Trade Hoovers, and they have also formed a truce with the Inglewood families, making the A Trade gangsters one of the few crip sets that are still cool with IFGB. The feds consider the A-Trey gangsters to be one of the most violent gangs in all of Los Angeles. I mentioned earlier that the A-Treys were heavily involved in the LA riots back in 1992. The infamous LA-4 was a nickname given to the first four men charged with the attack on Reginald Denny, a truck driver that was beaten nearly to death during the infamous LA riots. Three of those four men were alleged members of the A-Trey gangsters. Aside from this incident, the A-Treys have made headlines numerous times. On April 30th, 1992, a A-Trey gangster named Psycho assaulted three Los Angeles police officers. The three officers were traveling down Manchester Avenue when they were ambushed by Psycho, who shot up the police car. The three officers made it out with non-life-threatening injuries, but Psycho sustained a gunshot wound to the head and was in critical condition and later on would be sentenced to 19 years in prison. Aside from Psycho, one of the most prolific members from the A-Trey gangsters has got to be Monster Code. Monster Cody was one of the most feared gang members in all of South Central Los Angeles. He earned the nickname Monster at the age of 13 years old for stomping out a robbery victim until his face was permanently disfigured. Monster Cody's story is one of the craziest stories out there and I'm sure most of you guys watching are pretty familiar with it already, but just in case you aren't, there's a YouTube channel called Cali Faces that covered his entire story and she did a great job, so I'll have her video linked in the description below. Nika Shakura was born Cody Dijon Scott on November 13th, 1963. He grew up in South Central and was raised with his four brothers and two sisters, with him being the second youngest. The a Trey Gangsta Crips have been doing their thing in Los Angeles for a hot minute, and their name rings bells all throughout South Central. Their influence and effect they had on the landscape of gangbanging in Los Angeles is rivaled by very few other neighborhoods. Needless to say, the a Trey Gangsters have established themselves as one of the most reputable gangs that exist in Los Angeles to this very day. Even though they might not be the deepest when it comes to membership, they still hold the biggest chunk of territory when in South Central Los Angeles, and that speaks for itself. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave it a like, leave something <clears throat> leave something in the comment sections if you feel like I missed something, but until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.